All right, now this game really shows some promise. Take games like Carrier Deck and then add U-Boat to it and you get yourself Aircraft Carrier Survival. If you remember both of those games on the channel, then this game will definitely be for you. Plus, this demo is available for free. Taking command of a U.S. carrier in the Pacific after Pearl Harbor, just before the Japanese invade New Guinea, we will be able to uh, stop them in the Battle of the Coral Sea, but not before we first go through the tutorial. So if you want to see a full playthrough on this game upon its release with the campaign, then make sure you smash that like button. Welcome again to everybody who is a new sub. If you're subscribing here just for today, welcome aboard. And if you've been a longtime sub, it's good to have you with us. And welcome again to all the members who never stop supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all that support. Well, again, as I mentioned, Carrier Deck meets U-Boat. Both of those games are very popular on the channel and very cool where we got to manage a U-Boat with a cutaway section and also uh, Carrier Deck where we get to manage aircraft launching, and that's exactly what we get to do here in command of U.S. naval ships. I hope that they allow you to play as the British later, maybe the Germans, maybe the Japanese, maybe the Soviets, and, you know, command ships that never existed, hence the Soviets. So we'll see if we can uh, do some more in this game in the future when it comes out. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and start on easy. We'll start as a noob and we'll go ahead and uh, play the tutorial so we can see all the features and take our time Welcome and really Admiral. absorb what this Please game is. Please take a moment to customize your look. This is how you will be represented in the campaign. You will not be able to edit the look later. So do make sure every detail is to your liking. All right, so this is our character. We get to play as an Admiral. Anthony S. Brown. Looks like we get to change traits and colors and uh, whatnot. Air and Navy and Endurance. Different skills and stats. Nice. Let's continue. On to the next one, boys. Sir, welcome to Pearl Harbor. The strike group will return here after every successful mission in order to prepare for the next one. Okay. Upgrades for the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. Have a look through the different tabs, sir. Each one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. Wow, look at this. We get a cruiser to start with, a submarine, and even a supply ship to support our carrier. That's awesome. We're at Pearl, ready to roll out and kick some Japanese butt. Nice. Okay. Well, let's start at the dock. All right, that's where we are now. I guess this is the overview, so the let's check out our crew. and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game... You will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, this guy really looks like Tom Cruise, doesn't he? The amount of crew slots on the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. Good call. In the full version of the game, you will also be able to upgrade your officers and increase their numbers. In the demo, crew units have pre-selected specialties, but you will be able to choose them for yourself in the full version of the game. Okay, nice. So right now it's kind of handhold mode with the predetermined uh, attributes on the carriers. So that's this cool. This is where your true power lies. Oh, oh nice. Or in this case, lies. These are the machines to be sent out into battle at your command. So do Beautiful. make sure they are well prepared. So we got fighters, bombers, and torpedo bombers. That is awesome. You can see the differences between the planes. The wings even folded up. Nice detail. Very good. Very good looking. Here you can increase the amount of squadron slots available on your flight deck. This means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time. Oh, I see. Okay. You can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. Right, so we can spend our upgrade points now on these aircraft if we want to. So we have our fighters there on the left side, uh, bombers in the middle, and torpedo bombers on the bottom side of the uh, flight deck. Very nice. On this screen. You can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier, sir. Ooh. I'd like to probably uh, buy some damage control. I'm sure we'll have to fight off a lot of Japanese bombers. Some of these upgrades will influence the strike group statistics, which can be seen up here. Okay, so there's our storage range and maximum defense. Nice. If you wish, sir, you can give your aircraft carrier a name by which it will be remembered. Mm -hmm. In the demo... There is only one carrier class available to use, but in the full version of the game, you will unlock more of them as you progress and be able to truly customize your fleet to your liking. Nice. These are all the carrier upgrades available for purchase. Have a look through them. They are sure to come in handy, sir. I agree. All right, uh, let's see. So we can upgrade our anti-aircraft capabilities if we want to. So anti-air stations can be upgraded. I think that's going to be our biggest threat so far, so let's go with one of those at least. Unlock more anti-aircraft. 
And uh, looks like the next level requires more upgrades. So let's do hmm, maybe another damage control unit. Plus one. Uh, doesn't look like I can choose more than... Oh, we maybe we're maxed out on that at three. So let's go with um, supply capacity, maybe? That seems like a good call. Let's go with supply capacity. There we go. And we'll rename our ship, of course, to the USS Raptoria. Beautiful. May she float forevermore. Let's go to our escort. There is strength in numbers. So even a powerful ship such as your aircraft carrier does not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort. Got it. So we got a submarine, a cruiser. Beautiful. Similarly to ship upgrades, your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics shown up here. You can upgrade your escort size here. It will let you add more vessels to your strike group, sir. This is a list of all the ships currently in your escort. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each ship provides a different bonus. So do use your expertise, sir. Once you are happy with all the upgrades you have made, and your strike group is ready to embark on a mission, click the launch button to proceed. At your command, sir. All right, let's go. This is where you can select the mission you want to take on. In the full version of the game, you will be able to run a massive campaign with a big impact on the war. For now, select the tutorial mission. All right, the Coral Sea Aftermath. So our mission then is to retrieve scouting squadrons that are in... Uh, possession of information on the Japanese invasion fleet and then perform bombing on key mainland targets Including the enemy capital missions of different objectives. And oh rewards. This is different when actually. ready click the Oh cool, we can actually go for all these different missions so we can do the Doolittle raid the uh, hunt for the Orion or the Coral Sea aftermath Okay, so we have to retrieve scouting planes and prevent the Japanese from invading uh, New Guinea down here north of Australia All right Let's let's go. We could launch or we could just select the mission, I guess. That's fine. Admiral, we have received intelligence of a planned Japanese invasion. The target is Port Moresby, the key to control the Torres Strait. Japan's domination over that area would enable land-based aircraft attacks on North Australia. We have deciphered the date and time of the assault, and we suspect that the attack will come from here, here, or here. Our orders are as follows. First, on our way to the Coral Sea, rendezvous with the scouts who have been tracking the Japanese invasion fleet. Second, our main goal is to locate and intercept the invasion fleet before it reaches the shores of New Guinea. All right, Your not a problem. Your group is in open waters now. Truly glorious, sir. Absolutely glorious. Before we set off, I will show you how to navigate your ship. Sure. You are currently in deck view, sir. The highlighted button opens the navigation menu. To move to different views of the ship, you can hover over it and select a view you want. Click it to cycle through the different views, or use a keyboard shortcut. Let's move below deck first, sir. Use the navigation menu to move to sections view, or use the two key. The section view allows you to wow. see everything that's happening below deck. That's awesome. You can hover over the sections to check what their function is. Here is where you will be dealing with any damage sustained. Let's move to the island view now, sir. Use the navigation menu to do so, or press the three key. The island is where your officers work. Not only do they provide bonuses when working in one of the rooms, they also allow you to issue orders to your strike group. Return to the deck view by using the navigation menu or by pressing the one key, sir. Deck view allows you to see your flight deck from here you will be able to perform plenty of operations related to aircraft. Now that you know how to move around your ship, let's get on with the mission, sir. Open the world map to set your course. This is the world map. You can set a course for your strike group by placing waypoints on here. Awaiting order, sir. All right, so we gotta go to the waypoint first and then we should be ready for the mission. There is a long journey ahead and we can't risk going black on supplies. Before you reach the mission objective location, you will need to resupply your ship. Click on the highlighted location to set up a waypoint there. Okay. Well done, sir. The strike group is ready to head for the designated location. Set a movement speed here to start sailing. Oh, it's just a fast travel to the first location. Admiral, okay. We've arrived at the destination. Before we recover the scouting squadron from their position in zone K6, 
near Fiji Island, we must launch the resupply procedure. We're short on time. Once scouts are aboard, we must hurry toward the Coral Sea. All right, we gotta it's go fast. It's time to resupply. You can do this by issuing an order. Open the order menu here. Orders are a very useful tool, but they come with conditions. In order to use one, you will need to assign your officers to appropriate rooms on the island. Make note of the resupply order's requirements. So that requires one Navy Let's and one Air Force. Officers, Admiral. Move to Island View. So Island View is one again. Each officer is skilled in either Navy or Air Command and can only work in rooms that match that type. The Admiral is skilled in both commands, so he can work in any room. Okay. The resupply order requires one officer to work in a Navy room and one in an air room. You can see how many officers are working in each room type here. Assign your officers so that these conditions are met by clicking an officer portrait and then clicking on a room you wish to send them to. You can also select officers by clicking the icon above their heads. So one of Sir. the uh, Navy boys has to go to, uh, now let's go to the navigation room. Roger that. Sir. One of the Air Force boys needs to go to the... Let's go to the radio room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your officers are in place and the resupply order can be activated. Select it from the order menu now. Commence replenishment at place. sea. Every order you activate will work for some time. When that time is over, you can issue a new order. Ah, there comes the supply ship in the background. Nice. Trouble below deck, sir. Uh -oh. We have sustained some damage. Oh, no. This is bound to happen from time to time. This button shows you how much damage control teams are currently idle. Click it to view an idle team. Damage control teams are invaluable on an aircraft carrier. If a section sustains too much damage, it can shut down completely. Select the idle team and then click on the damaged area to have them fix it. On your command. It looks like we took a little damage there from the rough seas or something. The mission is heading into the retrieval location, sir. A squadron can only hover over the ocean until they run out of fuel, so it is crucial we pick them up. Open the tactical map to set a course for your ship. Awaiting orders, sir. Set up ah, a waypoint at the retrieval cool. location and start sailing towards it. We have the world map, but then we have our a map within our tactical zone of operation. That's kind of cool. Now that the carrier is heading to the retrieval location, it is we're at zero knots. The deck state to prepare it for landing. Move to deck view. Use this button to change deck state to landing. Okay. Respot the deck. Prepare for recovery. Ah, uh, we're going to move the planes from one end of the deck to the other. So all these planes have got to move out of the way to make room for the fighters that are coming in. Those must be also the recon aircraft. All right. Reach X position and retrieve scouts and reach the Coral Sea are our remaining objectives. Are we underway? We're not even... I don't think there we're moving. There are two squadrons awaiting retrieval right now. Click on the deck and select the squadrons from the list to cue their landing. Stand by to recover aircraft. Okay, so we have until the counter reaches zero in order to Trouble launch ahead, recovery Admiral. efforts. It seems the strike group is about to be under attack. Uh oh. Our defense must match or exceed the enemy's attack power in order to not sustain damage. You can increase your defense in several ways, but let's start with the officers. Move to the island. Okay. Not only are officers necessary to activate orders, but each room they are assigned to provides a different bonus. You can increase your defenses by assigning an officer to the CIC. It is a Navy type room, so make sure to select an officer viable to work there. Can I get the Admiral to move there? Same Another way to old, increase same defenses old. is having crew members man the anti-aircraft guns. Click here. To this menu allows you to assign crew units to man specific departments on the ship, providing you with efficiency bonuses. Ah. This is uh, the anti-air gun section. Drag and drop a crew unit into one of the slots to assign, sir. Hmm, let's get, uh... Deck crew to assist with anti-aircraft guns? And maybe engineering, too? Uh, excellent results, sir. Whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. I think they dropped torpedoes. Uh, the task force was prepared for the attack and did not sustain any Sir, damage. Oh. this icon means that a new report about an enemy... In order to plan great strategies, you must correctly identify your enemies. Click on the enemy to do so. 
Use okay. the information provided by the report and the included ship class cards to figure out which type of ship we will be dealing with. Oh, I see. Uh, so we need to identify this ship? That's facing the other way, though. So do we match the silhouette or what? That looks like it could be a... Oh, boy. How do I uh, do this exactly? This looks like a destroyer escort. No, it's a little bigger than that. Hmm. Look at all the ships that we could be facing. It's definitely a combat ship if it's supposed to match that silhouette. Let's try this one. Uh, let's see. That does not match. Try again. Okay. So, but where do I get information on this? Destroy the enemy. Reach the Coral Sea. I don't, I don't think this is right. I think it should be like a carrier maybe. Let's try a... Maybe an escort carrier is following us. That does not match. Okay. What are the other types of carriers? Maybe a light carrier. Ah, it was a light carrier. That's what I thought. All right. So click on the mission Let's to attack, attack it. The enemy you just identified. Set a course for your squadrons by clicking on the target and then clicking on a retrieval location. Got it. Okay. That lesson learned there. I understand that. Okay. So let's go with that. Then they need to return to our now carrier. Now path is set up. Select the strategies you want your pilots to follow by dragging and dropping strategy icons. Wow, it's an eight hour long mission. Crazy. When you're done planning your attack, sir, click this button to confirm it. All right, well, let's go in for a basic bombing run, basic torpedo raid. So let's mix those around. Hold on. Torpedoes to torpedo, bomb to bomb, and fighter to fighter. Okay, makes sense. Confirm. Now that the plan is ready, you can start briefing the mission. You can do this by clicking the mission button. Keep in mind that while this mission is being briefed, let's prepare the deck. Set the deck state to launching. You also need to rearm the squadron you picked up earlier to meet the mission requirements. You can rearm the squadron by clicking on it. Okay, let's prepare for launching. Respawn the deck. Prepare for launching. Uh, let's see, squad one. We need to rearm them. Well, how do we see that now? We have to click on the squadron and then prepare them for rearmament. So that was this fighter squad that came in. So let's move these planes to the launch position and the other planes to uh, rearm. Is there a free cam mode? Oh, there is, but I can't switch to it. There we go. Looks like they've moved now. Okay, so attack. Let's now go on mission two. Is ready, all you have to do is initiate the launch. You can do so by clicking on the deck and selecting the mission. Awaiting orders, Admiral. Okay, mission two. Go, go, go! Alright, I wish we could hear the airplanes. I would love to hear the uh, airplane noises as they fire up and uh, move on the deck and then get ready to uh, basically take off. Yeah, there's no engine sound whatsoever. But there they go. Maybe there will be. It is a demo, so good luck to our fighters then. And then our uh, bombers are up next and torpedo bombers too. I think those are the dive bombers there with the folded wings, I believe. Now, I think, I can't remember these aircraft, but you'll have to remind me what they are down below in the comments section. Let me know if I'm right or what the aircraft particularly used in the Pacific Theater were. Uh, like, for example, the uh, Cutlass, the Dauntless, and the Horsehair, or the uh, Hell, what was it, Hellcat or something? I believe those were some of the aircraft, but I don't know what these ones are. I'm not as familiar. But they are really cool airplanes. That is for Trouble sure. Below deck, sir. Again? Go to section view or click on the events to have a to put out a fire. Oh boy, Send we got a fire. Control teams to each affected area. Oh boy. Time is of the essence here, as fire tends to spread quickly. To deal with a flood, send a damage control team to man the pumps first, then select them and the affected area. Keep an eye out for any. Okay, wait. Ready, I wish the I wish the way. tutorial would keep talking while I was also doing things quick. Awaiting like I don't want orders. the ship to burn down. Aye, aye. Congratulations, sir! You have finished the tutorial stage. Yay! You can stay here for a while and explore, or click the world map button to end the tutorial and push on towards your mission objective. Godspeed, Admiral. Well, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, let's. Awaiting well, orders. I guess while we wait, way. let's get somebody healed up here, and then we need to get these planes back, don't we? Let's see, aircraft recon are back. So we are replenishing those, I believe. Let's go back to deck view. Um, so we can re can we receive this mission now? I guess let's let's bring it to receiving, and then let's go ahead and set the deck to receive mission one. Oh, they're deployed on an attack now, so we just got to wait till the time is up. I think. 
Let's check back on that tactical view. Looks like we're in position, so we're just sitting put. Oh, wow, there's actually like a hurricane coming through. Different storms and things will blow around. That's really cool. Dynamic Set weather like that. Point at the mission location and start your engines to continue on your quest. All right, stand by, sir. I just need to close this for a moment. Uh, ready to retrieve. How do I go back to deck view, though? Doesn't seem to be a way to close this menu out. There it is. Okay. So let's Stand go ahead and... Stand by to recover aircraft. Yep, let's recover all of our aircraft now. Make sure we get all of our planes back and we'll go on with our mission. There's one, two, and three. Perfect. Beautiful. Recovering. Okay, we need now another set of three. One, two, three. And perfect. And the final wave coming up here now on the Raptoria. Beautiful. Fighters, bombers, and torpedo bombers are back. Wonderful. All right, let's go on with the mission. So let's go over to position two. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed the enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. We can right. count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Okay, then. we got to get their ASAP, then. So let's get to Objective 3. We'll have to go as quickly as possible. Full speed. Okay, so Objective 1 is complete. Retrieve the scout squadron. All objectives complete. Uh, objective 3, assume strategic position at G7, and then finally to destroy the Japanese invasion fleet. We'll get all those done now, as we're making our way underway towards our next objective. We have three damage control teams. Uh, Minimap, carrier surroundings. Okay, so we could be attacked by Japanese bombers at any time, or fighter aircraft or whatnot. Respond to deck. Prepare yeah, for launching. Yeah, prepare for launch, and we'll get ready to uh, launch fighters, just in case. But we should keep... Bombers and torpedo bombers here, just in case we need to hit land targets or ships or escort. Or bomb uh, the fleet itself. We'll see. We got better anti-aircraft defense, so that's good. Apparently defense is up three. AA section, island bonus, defensive position, escort, plus one, and a CAP mission. Ah, we can set, we can stand, uh, what is CA, CAP? Is close air, no, clo civil air patrol, I think is what it is. Yeah, I, I can't quite remember. Um, so do we need, we want these planes in front though, don't we? The, uh, how do we reorganize these? If we want to launch one first. We could get ready to send out missions though, but we'll have to see via radar if the Japanese try to attack us. So how long until we get to our next destination? Okay, so we're moving right now towards objective three very slowly. Where we're moving at full speed. Aircraft are looking good, supplies looking good. Glad we went with the extra supply, then. We won't have to stop at all for any sort of replenishment from our supply ship that's following us. As well as the fleet. Keep an eye up there. What else do we have for events? Player was detected? I don't know what that means. Probably us. Ah, so it must have multiplayer at some point. Looks like there's an underwater event. Hold on. Get rid of this map here. The events... It's events going on in the Combat Information Center, probably due to the uh, missions that we were going on. Okay, let's continue to travel at full speed towards Objective 3. So I really like this game so far. Look at how crazily detailed the carrier is in terms of like seeing all the stations inside. we got four enemy aircraft inbound, so let's get ready to launch a mission. So in order to make a mission, let's go back to Tactical Map. We'll prepare a Combat Air Patrol mission. And we're back on normal speed, right? Okay, so let's go back to the carrier deck and prepare to launch our planes. So we're going to go for these guys. We want these guys going out first. Let's launch that mission. Go back to our aircraft. There we go. we got to get these uh, fighters in line and ready to go. So they sit on the sides of each other so that way they can move around. That's cool. The last one should come around. Wow, that's really cool, the deck management. Now, we also have extra anti-aircraft up, so hopefully that's ready to go. This will be our first mission. Close-range support. Okay, planes are already launching. 
Godspeed to those fighters, then, to defend against four incoming Japanese fighters. We also have our carrier with us. I mean, our carrier has defenses on it, but we also have our uh, naval escort. So we have our submarine, our cruiser. Ah, this is the bonuses that they provide. Cargo is plus 20% for supply. Submarine is 200 plus uh, range. And also, cruiser gives us plus one defense, which is at four. So I think, because now we have an AA section up... Actually, shouldn't our defense be at 5? We have AA, inland bonus, defensive position, escort, and cap. It's only 4. I thought it would be at 5. With the extra bonus we did to the AA, I thought that'd be at 2. Well, speaking of 2 now, we drop down. Uh-oh, the Japanese are dropping bombs. Ready to retrieve the Civil Air Patrol. All right, let's go ahead Respond and get... the deck. Prepare yep. for recovery. Now, we could put some of these ships below uh, on the elevators, too. But we don't necessarily have to do that. Because we want to be ready for anything that the mission will throw at us. How are we doing getting to our position? We're close to objective three. All right, let's go ahead and retrieve those guys. Stand by to recover aircraft. Good job, guys. Wonderful work so far. All right, there must be damage below deck. There must be. Let's see. Uh, everything's looking okay. Wow, look at all these rooms and stuff. Let's take a little more detail detailed look at stuff here. You can see the uh, galley and mess halls. Uh, areas for storage. All the planes are here, some of which look awfully damaged that they're probably making repairs on. Look at all that stuff. Torpedo storage, uh, more aircraft, engine rooms, power generators, the elevator itself, briefing rooms, what looks to be maybe a water pump and desalination plants, as well as the pumps at the front. Very cool. All the crew quarters and things down there, too. Wow, that's really cool. That really looks good. I'm really impressed with that. All right, combat mission was complete. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get those planes, I guess, maybe repaired. Get ready to launch aircraft again. Respawn the deck. Prepare for launching. I wonder if we can get some more uh, aircraft ready to go. Should be a way to call up more aircraft shortly, but let's take a look here. We're almost at objective three. Let's turbo it. Japanese might be unlikely to attack at night, but it's still possible. Now, our fighters landed. Where did they go? Maybe they're getting repairs at the moment? They disappeared, but we did receive them successfully, according to the events. Invasion time to 30 minutes. Japanese are attacking in 30 minutes. Oh, we are, actually we reached the zone. Excellent work. Okay, so now what should we do? Uh, prevent Japan's advancement. Right, so now let's take a look then. So do we launch aerial missions here? I guess we need to go scout for them, don't we? So, uh, aircraft scouting planned. Okay. Gotta go find them. How do I set that mission up, though? I can't really... I guess it'll auto-set up where the scouting will take place, maybe? Okay, we'll see. Alright, uh, let's see. We need more planes here. So, where do we... How do we get more planes? I want, I want more planes. Give me them planes. Looks like that's for deck management. Uh, below deck. We want the flight deck management, though. So, let's go with current order should be... What do we got? Weather protection... Oh, defensive positions. Okay, so when enemies come in, we can also do that too, and it'll give us a boost. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Deck protection, uh, crew swap order, resupply orders, easier retrieval order. Oh, that'll be helpful. Uh, damage containment. Okay, cool. All sorts of different things here. We got to get ready to go out on a mission, though. So let's go ahead and ready to launch, I guess. I, I guess any planes could go and detect them. Uh, let's see, we, but, but we need a fighter for that. But we could send out these other planes to go and, like, scout and then maybe launch them. So let's bring Issue up some fighters fighter then. Squadron on the deck. So they haven't covered that, but that's how to bring up aircraft then from the elevator. So that's cool. So we could actually send out fighters first to go scout, and then the bombers could be behind. And just kind of, like, you know, stay nearby so they could hit them with bombers, which would be cool. But let's go ahead and launch the aircraft, boys. Ready to go? All right, go ahead and launch group one. All right, they're launching now. Good work. All right, it's a morning time now. Beautiful sunrise. Gorgeous. I really want to be able to zoom out more and see the fleet. Is there a way to do that with the... Fr uh oh We got six enemy aircraft incoming. Okay, we're going to need to get more planes on deck. Hold on here. Go ahead and bring up fighters. Going to need even more. We'll stand by with these planes. Uh, we need to uh, launch an order then. Uh, let's see. Defensive position order... 
Uh, the Japanese are getting awfully close. I don't know how long this will last for. Get 100 defense points for 8 minutes. Okay, probably would be Assume a good idea to call that position. out. And let's go ahead and call out a new mission. So, tactical map. I want a combat air patrol, which will defend our carrier. So, let's get that ready to launch. So, combat air patrol. 1 minute 54. Group 2. Launch. We could actually call up more planes to do this. So what I should do is actually call up six planes, then launch the mission. But I want to try to react quick to them and see how our extra bonuses affect them. We're at five, and the cap mission is up two, so that should bring us up to six, which should defend against the aircraft then. So we have the six defense, and their aircraft will do six damage. So that should cancel it out, according to what he's told us as well. We will need to prepare the deck for retrieval then. Oh wait, another group is coming up. Let's go ahead and launch that patrol as well. Now let's see, is this group ready to go? Uh, do you want to call off the mission? Uh, no, I don't want to call that off. Oh, that didn't give me an option to say yes or no to that. That's weird. I didn't know that that's what that would do. Right, well we may take some damage, which is cool. We can actually see how the defense teams work. I want to see more of all the game's features, and of course the inside of the carrier, too. This is a good learning opportunity anyway for any sort of big O things coming our way. What do we got next? Uh, let's see, we've got fighters here. What is this button? Move the exactly? fighter squadron back to the hangar. Ah, okay, so that brings them to the hangars. Okay, good idea. We'll get them off the deck then since we're about to be attacked. Now, do we actually take damage from this? No, oh, the Japanese maybe caused a little damage. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got... Oh, what was that? It looked like the plane moved through. Okay, so now we can use the damage control Awaiting teams. Orders. So this is going to be kind of cool to see them actually function Awaiting orders. during a real scenario here. Can't do that, sir. Negative. Oh, so only one team can move in an area at a time. Okay. On our way. So it looks like just a few things need repair. That's what I wanted to see, though. Look at that. It's so cool to see the crew fighting fires, Ready. rescuing people, moving around the decks. That's awesome. Really good stuff. Okay, combat air patrol needs to be received, so let's prepare for reception. Respot the deck. Prepare for recovery. Recovery operations are up and running. Okay, we'll fight the fires first, and then we'll start rescuing Awaiting people. Awaiting orders. Cool. All right, let's not let that happen again, then. We'll be a little bit more uh, responsible with that. Looks like the Japanese fleet is here, so we're ready to attack the fleet. Uh, let's see, aircraft spotting mission. So they were able to spot them. So aircraft attack. Now... We want to go on Torpedo Bomber, Basic Bombing Raid. We're running low on supplies, okay. Let's send out all three and we'll prepare for that mission right there. Oh, and then we need to plan for them to come back. All right, let's do one thing at a time. Let's slow things down. Now I got a plan here. So first of all, let's recover the uh, aircraft spotting. So they're coming back shortly. Combat Air Patrol is on the way back. Stand by to recover aircraft. So you guys recover. And then we'll switch around so that way we have fighters, bombers, and also torpedo bombers ready to go. And we should be able to destroy their fleet. And we'll also prepare for a uh, supply operation. Oh, it looks like we can only do one order at a time. Doesn't look like we can cancel it, so we have to wait till this one's done. We're in the red, and oh, it looks like we have more Japanese fighters on the way. Man, it's getting crazy with the uh, things we have to do here. Okay, aircraft are ready to retrieve as well. Okay, the Japanese are going to come in for another hit. We're not going to be able to launch fighters. Let's see if the Japanese hit us. I really wish there was like a free camera mode where we could set where we wanted our own vision to be. There we go, free cam mode. We can actually look around, see the escort. We have two escort ships, two submarines, and uh, the supply ship too. We'll have to get on that. The Japanese are going to try to hit us again, but we need supply. Commence replenishment at sea. And it looks like we come to a stop to do that, so... Probably a bad call, but better than running out of supply. Okay, combat air patrols are complete. Respect the deck for attack. Respawn the deck. Prepare for launching. Let's go back and call another combat air patrol mission. It looks like we know the Japanese are here somewhere, so I wonder if we can launch the mission blind based off of where we thought they were, and then they can go and uh, spot them with the fighters to kind of like update the position since we know generally where they are. 
Okay, Combat Air Patrol 2 is planned and ready to go. As soon as the uh, planes are in position. And I bring up another group of fighters. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Nice. Now can I move these? More fighters are coming up. I want to be able to launch all of these fighters. How do I designate these as like multiple groups here? Okay, let's try to launch a bunch of fighters. Defenses are down to two since we're stationary and being resupplied. But the Japanese fighters seem to be gone now? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Okay, these are all complete. Alright, combat air mission one has been deployed. Good. As we resupply, and the deck's ready for a big operation. So let's go out back to that tactical map and find the Japanese again, somewhere around here. And return to carrier. Their fleet was right in front of us. Uh, can you come back to the carrier? Might be out of our range. Uh, let's cancel that mission. Try that again. So we want to launch a attack mission. I guess we can only do it from the white back to this direction. Look like there's a way to bring the aircraft back. Range. That should allow them to come back. I hope so. We can also send out our uh, submarine to go spot too, which is kind of cool. So do I have to do anything to tell the submarine to do it? No, he'll be back in a few minutes too. So the submarine will go spot as well at nighttime. Cool. Okay, so now we want to send out a planned attack, so Group 2 should be ready to go. Let's send out all units for Group 2, which should be all three of these since we ordered it. Dude, this is cool. It really becomes a lot more like, um, you know, as we played previously, Carrier Deck. It gets a, There's a lot going on, man. You're trying to manage fires while launching aircraft, while taking aircraft back, while also preparing the right aircraft, while repairing aircraft, while also making sure your fleet is defending your carrier, so that way then you can launch aircraft, and if an aircraft becomes damaged, then you need to clear the deck and respec for either recovery or takeoff operations. Really cool stuff. There's a lot to manage in this game. Now, the Japanese were spotted here. We should probably go attack that fleet, but we also need to destroy them up there. So let's continue to sail towards that objective as well. I think we can move that, that way. Towards the new objective then. So we'll move into the enemy fleet. We should be able to pick up our planes on the way. Japanese will be there in about 20 hours, so we need to go double time. I should have actually been at full steam the entire time. But that's all right. Full steam ahead now, and our aircraft should come back to us shortly. Combat air uh, patrol is deployed. Let's prepare the deck for recovery operations. And we'll go ahead and retrieve... Yeah, we'll call back that combat air patrol, actually. We don't need that anymore. Or now. So we should be able to bring back group number Stand one. Stand by to recover aircraft. Okay, one, two, three. And then group number two can be recovered as well, our attack group. Submarine spotting is completed. Let's see what we found. Enemy fleet is in front of us. Let's respec for an attack. Now, how do we identify what that is? So, I'm not exactly entirely sure how to identify, but we found an enemy carrier. So, let's prepare another aircraft mission. Slow down time here a little bit. We want an air aircraft attack. That uh, might be because they're actually uh, being recovered now. So, we can't launch multiple operations at the moment, so we'll get that done. Okay, so all the planes are coming in for recovery. And that should be done. View results. Sir, the mission mission report is ready. Do you want to watch a replay of the battle? Okay. Oh, man, it doesn't let me see a battle replay. Oh, that'll be a cool feature in the, fu feature in the future. Uh, let's see. Dive bombers successfully outmaneuvered torpedo boat, dealing damage. Uh, let's see. Mini attack planes... Uh, 
Uh, the attack was unsuccessful. More firepower squadrons sent out perfectly prepared for battle. The damage was ne negligible. Your troops managed to deal negligible damage amount to the enemy. Okay, so we definitely hit them. So let's do a better attack this time now. Let's go ahead and uh, complete these attacks and prepare for more attacks. Respawn to deck. Prepare for launching. Let's see if we can hit them again. Can we do an even bigger mission? I want to be able to call more aircraft up. Maybe we can call multiple missions. That might be kind of cool. Let's give that a shot. So tactical map. Go back. Let's launch an attack here. And then we'll come back to the carrier. Oh, wow. We're right on top of the enemy fleet. Holy crap. Are we able to pick them up? We're driving into this location, so... Okay, whatever. Let's just get these guys ready. So, let's see. Approach from the sun. Risky joint attack. Let's go ahead and start getting a little more risky with our attacks. And let's see. Fighter assets. Okay, let's try to do a little more complicated attack this time around. And let's see if we can actually see the enemy fleet. Probably not a good idea to get our fleet so close to theirs, but I'm just curious to see how things work. Okay, so we have a planned attack ready to go. Let's Issue get fighter, a fighter squadron on the bomber deck. and torpedo ready again. I want to see if I can launch more missions out. I wonder if we can expand this and have like two missions ready to go at a time. Mission one ready to go here, mission two ready behind. Let's see what happens. 13 Issue minutes. a torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Oh, okay, cool. So we're going to be able to launch two missions. I wonder if we can designate more aircraft, though, for that mission. Speaking of missions, let's also send out a... Let's see. Submarine spotting mission, again. Oh, didn't only only want to do that once. Okay, we'll deploy that one. Okay, well, I guess we've sent both submarines away. Maybe they can actually do damage when they're out on the mission. Okay, let's go ahead and send out our planned attack. So, planned attack, go ahead. Uh, let's see, the following are missing an Operation Bomber. Okay, so we need another bomber. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. Okay, I wasn't sure that we had enough or if we could do more. Yeah, we should be ready then. So, can we send out a huge mission? Dive bombers, torpedo bombers, and also, uh... Fighters ready to go. Cool. Apparently we're on top of the enemy fleet, but I don't even think that's our main objective. It's just kind of a, a roadblock for us. Okay, we got Japanese incoming. Assume defensive position. Defensive positions are up. Japanese are going to be here before we have a chance to launch that civil air patrol. So we'll just have to mitigate damage. The objective first one was completed. All right, boys, go out on that mission. Launch before the Japanese get here with their bombing attempt. Wow, look at how cool that looks. Really nice. I want more camera angles, though, so I can manage things from my own perspective. I'd like to see the aircraft coming in and see the carrier from a little further away. All right, let's see if there was any damage. The Japanese seem to have hit something, but... Uh, pretty bad damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys underway. Uh, we got flooding going on. So let's see. What do we get? Where exactly are pumps? There's pumps in the front of the ship. Oh, yeah, they, they cause an incredible amount of damage. Wow. Yeah, well, let's start with fires. On your command. Go ahead and make sure we're on slow speed, which we are. Can't do that, sir. Impossible, sir. Now, where are there pumps aye, in the aye. back here? Awaiting orders. I know there's pumps at the front of the ship, but I don't know if that actually works for the rear of the ship aye as well. Aye. So let's go to pumps there. And then these guys need to probably go back and start putting way. out fires. Why, they certainly caused a lot of damage, didn't they? Okay, well, it seems like we're able to completely bypass the Japanese fleet without even having any sort of combat with them. Kind of weird. Uh, also, we're, our ship planes are out of range. Can we not update that location? Oh, we destroyed an enemy carrier. Hell yeah. Great. 
Uh, how do I... Is there a way to reorganize the mission and radio out and tell them that we've moved? That does happen. Carri <laughs> carriers do move. We could make a new recon position with them. Um, I want to be able to tell these guys to move north and meet us. Submarine spotting is completed. Good job. Out of range, but how do we update the range? Okay, there should be a way to do that, I'm sure. Anyway, let's worry more about the damage now. That's a lot aye of damage. Aye. Okay, we got damage control teams working yes, out sir. fires. And flooding next. Now, what, can we tell the flood room? The camera only lets me go all the way up On here. I want, to, I want to be able to tell On these guys. Way. Oh, boy. Well, this is really cool, though, to see the damage. I like that. Yelling at my screen, cringe, frustrating to watch. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... This is exactly how the game functions, and this will be really cool to see on hard. Like, one aircraft breaking through could make all the difference in the game in destroying your fleet, or maybe the enemy's fleet, based on their uh, ability to break through. That's cool. And look, of course, look at how tables and chairs and things get tipped over. I love that. I just love seeing these cross-sections. Really cool. All right, do we... Oh, on damage go. control duty. Yeah, let's go uh, with extra damage control. Aye, aye. Uh, aye, aye, but you're not moving? Aye, aye. Are you okay? That's not doing anything. All right, let's go. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Are you guys ready? Moving? Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. Damage control, medical teams. We got these guys back here. I don't know exactly where there are additional pumps. Yes, sir. Well, let's go mitigate that damage. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Ready. Aye, aye. Awaiting orders. Aye, aye. Well, let's On keep fighting. Way. Keep fighting those fires. Wow, that is cool. That's probably the coolest part. Well, we also wiped out an enemy carrier, according to that. I just don't know how to actually take that mission back. Is there a way to get planes ready to come back? Respot the deck. Prepare for recovery. Out of range. I hope there's a way to give orders to aircraft to update on a rendezvous point. Like if the, you know, carrier changes course for any reason, it'd be a good idea to be able to radio out to the aircraft and tell them to meet you at a different location. That happens. Let's see. Okay, damage teams did not report here. Ready. On our way. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. So damage control only shows you where the team is. You Awaiting then still orders. have to select the team and tell them where to go. Aye, aye. Which is a little annoying. That's the pumps room, so it seems like that's the only room for it. Another team there. Ready. All right. Looks like all the fires are out except for this team Ready. here. That's just putting out the last fire. Aye, aye. And then we'll get pumps to uh, remove all the water. Okay, let's go back up to the deck. We have to receive our uh, attack, but they're just out of range, so I don't know if there's a way to bring them in or not, but Yeah, I don't want I don't want these missions or anything. There needs to also be a way to like right click stuff and cancel. There's not a way to do that, I think. All good though. We're still moving towards our objective, and we've already sank one of the Japanese carriers wiped out. Hell yeah. Definitely awesome. They've now just got a uh, additional carrier, like a smaller one. So we we sunk a big O carrier. That's awesome. 22 masts. That's crazy. Good job. Although it did say our attack was a failure, but I don't know about that. We sank a damn carrier. Didn't want to sink the whole fleet, just hit a big carrier. That's a huge blow to them, just like in the Battle of Coral Sea. Um, okay, we got five minutes to attack the Japanese. All right, let's go back underneath the decks and see what we've got. Overall, pretty good experience so far. If you've been on a carrier before... Uh, especially one in modern times. It'll be interesting to see what it's like to manage a carrier uh, from these days. How do we tell the pump crew to actually pump out specific rooms? You'd think if they if they were in the pump room that they'd just be able to do one at a time. Awaiting orders. Let's get these guys to go on pumps. Yes, sir. Some rooms are still damaged. On your command. Is water going down at all? This actually looked like it was going down. Everything else is flooded and requires minor repair, so we'll keep these crews yes, here. Sir. Keep these uh, two crews on standby. 
on our way. Actually, there's some damage there. Let's go ahead and repair yes, that. Yes, sir. Pump crews, are they actually uh, making the pumps function? It looks like more flooding is actually taking place. Hmm. Can't do that, sir. During the tutorial, I'm not Negative. exactly sure how we were able to tell them to, to do that. But I don't know how we indicate a room to be f pumped out. Oh, well. Good thing it's a tutorial on a demo. All right, let's see. Invasion fleet, we're almost there. Obviously going much slower because of our operations now. Let's send a objective to go stop that invasion. We're supposed to meet them around here somewhere, but I do want to send out a big mission. So I guess you have you have to guess on where your carrier is going to be. You need to position the carrier. You can't position the planes. So let's go for a... Uh, let's see, basic torpedo, basic bombing, and basic fighter run. I could also send out our, um, let's also send out our submarine in a moment. So we'll get that mission ready. Let's send out the sub to go spot. And let's go back to the deck then. All right, wow, we got lots of flooding, that's for sure. Oh well, GG Rip. Respot the deck. Prepare right. for launching. Get ready to launch, boys. We have fighters on deck. Let's also go for... Uh, let's see, can we call them up now? We're running out low on supplies. Okay, let's send in a supply ship. We'll actually have to stop Commence our ship here. At sea. But that's okay, the planes will just have to fly the remaining distance. And it looks like the pumps are actually... working. Some of these are actually lowering now. Those rooms were all full, but it looks like the flooding is maybe moving forward. I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if we can put more crews in there. On your command. Aye, aye. Ah, so you can put two crews in the pumps. Okay. Well, some things uh, will get better with experience, I suppose. Just like our crew. Okay, let's go back and ready for launching. We need bombers. Issue a dive bomber squadron on the deck. And we need torpedo bombers. Looks like you can only do one order at a time, though. Or rather, two Q at a time. Minute 48. Okay, combat air patrols obsolete. That's fine. So I think the planes that were out there crashed. So if we can get some Fs down below in the comment section for those uh, planes that ran out of fuel. Those, those were some Issue damn good men. Issue a torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Looks like that fleet is trying to chase us, but they probably took heavy damage. All right, torpedo bombers are up next, and that should be all three needed for the launch of our final mission. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's get ready to launch these bad boys. All right, so from what I've learned so far, I really like what I see and want to make improvements to all of my, um, my, my like tactics and stuff. And uh, definitely, I think b before this game comes out, the developer is going to make a lot of changes too. There goes that flooding. It's definitely getting uh, cleaned out a lot. So flooding takes a very long time to uh, reverse, but. Looks like overall our guys did a good job of On your getting most of the flooding stopped, and then we can go repair some of that stuff. Really cool. Let's get this area yes, repaired. Sir. Looks like the torpedoes are all, you know, torpedoes just laying around. That's fine. It's fine. That's, that's totally fine. Normal. Normal. Normal every day. Okay. Let's go and see if we can hit that objective then and destroy the enemy invasion fleet. So that must have been at least one fleet that was trying to uh, patrol for us. So now that they've been stopped, like they said, they'll be coming from somewhere in the north through the islands somewhere. We'll have to go find them, but we'll get them. Okay, invasion time is 15 minutes or so. Or, I guess, seconds. I assume each second in this game is like a minute or whatnot. Mission complete. You are successful. The Japanese have been stopped, and they'll never, ever bother us again. Cool. All right, so it looks like we must do better next time, etc., etc. Wait, there are some rewards for completing the demo. Restarting the mission, if you succeed, you'll... Oh, what? Promo codes that allow you to redeem items in the full version of the game. Sure to come in handy in the grand campaign. You'll be able to run, change the course of history at open sea. <gasps> Can we play this dynamically? Oh, hello, ladies. Hello, indeed. All right, so overall a good game. I definitely want to practice on this one more to get a big win in, but that's not the point. The point here today is to show off aircraft carrier survival, the cool features of the split screen, 
uh, splitting down the ship and being able to manage the crew, the ability to manage different aircraft carriers, the ability to play throughout the Pacific Theater from just after Pearl Harbor all the way up to probably the fall of Japan. Maybe some other uh, fictional missions or some, you know, fantasy things, you know, some what-if scenarios, which would be pretty cool to do as well. Well, given the things that I failed on, I think I could do better in the next run and get a big success in. And this definitely seems like a game that will be challenging. And I like that a lot. So I'll see you guys next time for Aircraft Carrier Survival. Make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to see me do a full playthrough, that'll be the way to let me know. You guys are awesome. So thank you very much for the support, the positivity, and the greatness. And if you think you can do better, go ahead and download this one today for free. And go ahead and tweet me or send me your videos or screenshots of completing these missions. And I'd love to see you do it. There's no excuse. You can download it today. So give it a try. You should be able to get it. And give it a, give it a shot. It's fun. I like it. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for being here. You are the greatest audience on YouTube, and I appreciate your support more than ever. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.